I welcome you to our practice today. If you've returned, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's the highest compliment. Um, if you're new to practicing with me, welcome. Um, my name is Erin Son, and I own a little business in Arlington, Virginia called Eat Yoga, where I teach yoga in non-traditional spaces, typically in breweries, wineries, pubs. In the summertime, we are outside as much as possible. Um, but today I'm inside. I wanted to teach outside because the morning is so glorious here, but our neighbors have some landscaping going on and it would have been a little loud. So back inside, maybe we'll be outside tomorrow if weather permits. Um, so I'm glad you joined us today. I'm glad you're making the commitment to practice. Today's theme is Twisty Tuesday. So we're going to be getting ourselves in lots of twists, maybe some binds. The twists, some of them will be held in a static way, and some will be dynam dynamic twists. So we're moving into the twist. And the benefit of twisting is, there are a lot of benefits of twisting. One is it helps to stimulate your digestive process by compressing those digestive organs, and then by releasing a fresh rush of oxygenated blood into the spaces that are working for your body. So if you start to feel a little gassy or maybe you feel things moving a little bit there, you can excuse yourself and go to the bathroom, do what you need to do. Nothing's off limits here in yoga class. Um, just be aware of, of how it's affecting your body. Um, if you're prone to back pain, particularly lower back pain, twisting can be really, really relieving for you because what we're doing is offering some mobility to the spine and to all the tissues and muscles that support the spine. So we're bringing a greater stretch, a greater sense of, of um, flexibility and just encouraging everything to move a little bit more easily so that it's not getting stagnant. And it, and, and it also just moves stagnant energy through the body, just twisting, moving, breathing into it. Um, serves the body in a lot of really wonderful ways. So if you have questions about twisting, I'm happy to stay on a little bit after if you want to chit chat about it, or if you have questions, drop it in the chat box um, while we're while we're practicing. Um, and we're going to start on our backs today. And once you arrive on your back, you can have the, the knees bent. Again, if you're prone to lower back pain, it may feel more comfortable for you to have the feet flat, the knees bent. Or you can even have the feet wide and the knees knock in together. So you can invite the lower back, your sacrum, to rest down onto the earth. Take a big breath in, inviting in the energy of your day so far. And let it all go. Let go with that breath, any expectations any forward thinking. We are just so in the moment in this practice today. Just inviting your awareness to float moment to moment as you engage the body, as you welcome the breath. If you feel like you're still holding on to some things, feel free to take as many of those cleansing breaths as you would like. Inhaling through the nose and pressing it away with the mouth. Activating deep into the lower abdomen, really engaging into those muscles, contracting into the, uh, the diaphragm to help squeeze all the air out. And then once you're feeling cleansed, just settle back into your space. Let the breath happen naturally. If you're comfortable closing the eyes, close them. Maybe you notice that you're trying to lift yourself up in some way. Relax, let it go. The earth is there to support you. Your mat is there to welcome and love you. Well, Twisting in our practice has a really large number of energetic and physical benefits to the body. There's also the, the metaphoric significance of, of twisting. And I read you this quote from Don Williams. The road of life twists and turns. 
and no two directions are ever the same. Yet our lessons come from the journey, not the destination. And so that takes us back to releasing expectation, releasing the, the anticipation of a particular outcome in your practice today, because we're not here for the destination. We're here for the journey. Notice the qualities of breath as it moves in and out of the body. Begin to harness control of the breath, seizing this moment to quiet any reactivity in the body Bringing a greater sense of emotional regulation, releasing fear, calming the stress, knowing that in this moment you are safe, you are well cared for as you care for yourself. You have your breath to prove your vitality and your health. So as you seize control, bring a deeper breath into the body, feeling everything expand. And when you've taken all that you can, sip a little bit more in. Just try it, test your limits. And then slowly let the breath go. And when you're at the bottom of the breath and you think there's no more left to release, just try, engage a little bit more, empty completely. So when you welcome the next breath, it is all fresh and new to the body, which is very exciting to the cells. And keep going. Two more big breaths like that, filling up beyond your perceived capacity and emptying out, truly letting everything go and release a little bit more of that. Beautiful. With the next inhale, invite your intention for the practice, whatever inspired you to arrive on the mat today. Fill up the body with your intention as you bring the breath in, giving it life. And as you exhale, let it go out into the world. Let's take one more shared breath together. Big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, let it all go. <sighs> Bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a hug and roll around on the back. Make sure every edge and corner and space of the back gets some attention. Feel the ridge of the spine, feel the shoulder blades. And then open the arms up to a T. Let the knees drift to the right just to hover. And then inhale, knees come up through center, hovering over to the left. Inhale, center, twist to the right, hover, back through center, hovering to the left. And do that a few more times. Keep rooting through the arms and the shoulders. Taking note of any sensations that are trying to get your attention. This time come through center and as you twist to the right, let the knees fall down to the earth or onto the blocks. So the hips are lifted, but the shoulders are rooted. That right hand can press down on the knees, giving a deeper sensation to the twist. 
Feel the breath traveling all the way up and down the spinal column. It is so important that we nourish the spine with our breath. And always think to inhale and lengthen the spine before we find our twist. We want to create space between the vertebrae, cushioning those discs, finding our mobility. On the next breath, release any binds. Slowly, those knees take a journey over to the left, releasing to the left side all the way down into your twist. And keep checking in with your breath during practice, particularly in twists that are a little bit more challenging for the body. When we face challenges, our breath becomes constricted, particularly when we're twisting on top of it. And that is exactly when the body needs the most breath. So really serve yourself well. Beautiful. Slowly bring those knees back up through center. Bring the hands behind the knees or behind the thighs and slowly start to rock and roll a little bit. And then eventually make your way up to a seated position, extending the legs out in front of you. Find Dandasana for a moment. So just know what I mean by extending through the spine. So you feel the tailbone rooted down to the earth and the crown of the head lifting up nice and tall. So we're not rigid or stiff, we're just extending, just creating space. Bring the shoulders down away from the ears. So inhale, lengthen. <sighs> On the next breath, start to draw your right knee in towards your chest. Sit up nice and tall as you inhale. As you exhale, twist over to the right. So notice when you did that, if you surrendered a little bit, if you collapsed a little bit, keep lifting with dignity, with purpose, and twisting as you create space. One more breath in. Full breath out. Nice. Come back into center. Open up that leg so the right foot comes into the left thigh. Find a gentle rotation. We're going to go for a revolved head to knee. So your left hand is going to reach out for your foot or ankle or maybe just the pant leg. And the left, I'm sorry, right arm is going to reach up and overhead. And really try to draw that right shoulder back so you feel the rotation. Big breath in to lengthen. Full breath out. Reach a little further. One more big breath in. Beautiful. Come back up to center. Take that left leg and we're going to stack it over the right. So coming into a stacked fire log, a little early in the practice, but just notice if that's accessible. Blocks always come in handy to help Arbata Kanasana. Sit up nice and tall and as you exhale, twist to the left. Continue to root down through the sit bones. Exhale, twist. Beautiful. Come back to center. Interlace hands behind the back. Stretch as you lift the heart to the sky. As you exhale, round over the legs, bowing down. Maybe the fists lift away from the back if that's too much sensation in the shoulders. Let the fists passively rest against the back. You're still opening up the front body. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Rise back up, unwind all the binds, send those legs back in front of you, shake them if you need to. Take a big breath in. Let a breath go. On the next breath, start to draw your left knee in towards your chest. Lift the right arm high. Take a twist. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. 
As you come back into center, open up your left knee with the right knee. And let's do that side one more time. Sit up nice and tall and twist to the right. So I was talking about making sure you find the extension in the spine and then you rotate. So we want to create the space. Then come back into center, reaches up, and you're looking to open up through the rib cage. So try to spin both ribs or both sides of the ribs up toward the sky. So there's a little, there's a twist here and a lateral flexion. I'm going to keep looking. Make sure you guys aren't leaving me. All right. Big breath in. Full breath out. Beautiful. Come back to center. Stack that fire log one more time. Maybe someone didn't like fire log. I don't know. Stack your shins. Say hi to that left side hip. Give it a little love. Give it a little massage. Interlace fingers behind the back. Draw the shoulder blades together. Open the heart. Make sure the shoulders are melting away from the ears. And then start to hinge forward. Either the fists lift away from the back or they stay connected. Your choice. Breathe. One more breath. All right. Now we get to do the other side. So unwind. Send those legs out. Shaky, shaky, shaky. And then bring the left foot next to the right thigh. Feel your rooting. Feel the sit bones connecting. Lift up out of the tailbone. And then twist. Hugging the knee in. Keep drawing your navel back toward the spine. Just engage that Uddiyana Bandha. One more breath. And come on back. Open up the knee. Revolt head to knee here. So right arm reaches out to the right foot. Left arm up and overhead. So again, notice, are you, you don't want your chest toward the thigh, you want your oblique toward the thigh. You want your left bicep to frame the ear. One more big breath. And come back, we'll do the twist. We forgot to do the twist on the other side, but we did it at some point today. <laughs> so stack fire log, shin over shin, take a big breath in. Twist to your right. One more big breath in. Full breath out. Come back into center. Weave the fingers together in a different way. Open up the heart. And bow down. Breathing into any tightness and tension, give the body love. One more big breath. And come on back up. We're gonna roll through table position. From your table where your knees are underneath the hips, we're gonna press into the right, our left palm, lift the right arm up to the sky and bring the hand behind the head. This is your thoracic twist. We we'll keep working on thoracic mobility because we want there to be a lot of flexibility within the rib cage. Take one more big breath and release down. We'll take that on the other side, root down through the right palm, left arm reaches up. Bring the hand behind the head, open up. Thank you guys for being patient. You truly are the best. One more big breath in. And release. From here, we start to make our way to downward facing dog. You may want to have your blocks handy. From downward facing dog, just start to move a little bit, shifting the weight among the four points of contact. Bend the knees and straighten them. Pedal into the heels. 
and then start to walk the hands in about a third of the way so the feet start to come a little bit flatter to the earth. You can also widen your stance here if that makes it more accessible. Take that right hand and reach over to the left calf and take a twist. Gaze underneath the left armpit or have the eyes closed and feel from within. Just on the left side, left hand to the right calf. Beautiful, and release. Walk the hands all the way back. If the feet are separated, start to heel toe them so they're back to hip distance apart. If you have a block, bring it right underneath your nose, and we're gonna plant the left palm down on the earth. Start to bend the left knee and reach the right arm up. So not only are we offering a twist here, we're giving a really good stretch into the right side IT band. You can bring your hand right to your sacrum, if you wanna keep the hips rooted and twist a little bit more into the spine so that you're not moving the hips. Big breath in, shake the head yes and no. And then we'll take that on the other side, right hand down to the, uh, to the block or the earth, bend into the right knee, keep that left leg straight, hand to the sacrum to keep the hip stable and twist up to the left. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. And let it all go. Nice. You can move the block to the side. We're going to rise all the way up. As you exhale, twist open to the right, keeping the hips square to the front. Inhale to center. Twist to the left and just notice how well you can stabilize by engaging into the thighs and engage into the glutes. One more on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. Come on back up to center. Dive down into a fold. Walk your hands all the way out into a high plank. Lower down chaturanga. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Stay here for just a moment. Just offering a beautiful extension into the front body. Soften the shoulders. Keep pressing the heart forward. One more breath. And then make your way back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and breathe out. One more inhale and let it go. On the next breath, right leg rises. Step the right foot between the hands. Find your twisted lunge. Reach the right arm up. Sink the tailbone a little lower. One more big breath. Stacking the shoulders and then bring the hand down. Step forward into a forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Back up to center. Fold. Halfway lift to a flat back. Plant the hands, left foot steps back, back into that low lunge. And then the right foot joins high plank. Lower down, keeping the body nice and engaged. So nothing dips, you are strong, rise. Back to downward facing dog, breathe. Breathe in and let it all go. Beautiful, inhale, left heel high. Step the left foot through, twist. Yes, so bring the tailbone, or I'm sorry, bring the, the pubis down toward the earth. Stay firm in that back leg, stack the shoulders, maybe float the gaze up to the left thumb. One more big breath. And then release, step forward, forward fold, rising up from the earth. Exhaling back to surrender. Halfway lift, 
lower down chaturanga. Maybe you hover this time, igniting that strength a little bit more, floating up into your upward facing dog, back to downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Look to the front of the mat. You can step or hop, feet to hands. Rise all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart. So we're gonna move through a dynamic flow here. It's important that you connect with your breath. Your breath will help, help set. You start to lift that right knee up towards your chest. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, twist to the right. As you exhale, you're gonna step that foot back, come into a high crescent lunge with a twist and twist to your left. So that's how the flow is gonna go. Inhale, twist to the right with that knee up in stork. Exhale, twist to the left in that lunge. All right, so stay present with yourself. The moment you welcome an unpleasant thought, you're gonna go out of balance. Do three more. One more, because I lost count. <laughs> Beautiful, this time bring that knee back up into your chest and we're gonna extend that leg. So that's where you may you want to bring in, and I'll show you how to do it with a t-shirt, but you can use a strap. You may want to take a bind on that foot. If you don't have the bind naturally, hand to toe and open up. So keeping the spinal column tall, Shoulders stacked over the hips. Invite that rotation in the spine. One more big breath in. Full breath out. And then release the strap if you have it. Step back into that twisted lunge. Bring both palms to kiss in front of you and bind your twist. So hands are in prayer in front of the sternum. Bring the left, I'm sorry, right elbow outside of the left leg. You can always challenge your balance here. If you wanna do warrior three with a twist, lift the right leg, go for it. Take two more big breaths. One more big breath. Beautiful, unbind, and then bring the hands down to frame the left foot, drop the right knee, untuck the toe, and we're gonna reach around for a twist. So again, if you have the block, you may wanna put the block underneath the right hand or, or not, and reach that left arm back, maybe bend into the right knee and bind. So a good stretch into that right thigh. You can also, if you're not making the bind naturally, you can use that t-shirt or strap to help make the bind. Use what you got. Two more breaths. Keep looking over that right shoulder or left shoulder. When you're ready, rise back and downward facing dog. Find your breath. Look to the front of the mat, step feet to hands. Come all the way up. Hands at the heart. Honor the breath. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take that flow on the other side. So root down through the right foot, lift that left knee up towards your chest, find your twist, right? Just notice how it feels. And then very slowly step back into high crescent lunge, twisting to the right. So get acquainted with these shapes so that when you're moving with breath, your body knows where to go. Have some fun, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three more times. Woo. Remember, nothing has to be perfect. Let 
your practice be a big sloppy mess. Be present for it. Have some fun with it. One more big breath. Nice. And then come back up into stork with the twist and extend the leg with the bind if you like. <laughs> Mine is a really big sloppy mess today. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So once you arrive there, then start to lift the posture a little taller, draw the navel in a little tighter. Breathe. One more breath. And then let go of the bind, step the left foot back into that twisted lunge. And then both palms kiss, extend through the spine, twist to the right, hooking the elbow. You can also open the arms. You can also fly if you want to fly in your kundanyasana. Or you can take flight in your twisted warrior three. Take one more breath. Twist out, ring it out. Come back to center, hands to the earth, drop the knee, untuck the toe, and we're gonna reach around for that twist. Maybe you grab a bind by bending the left knee, taking hold of the ankle. One more breath. And let it go, <laughs> nice. Step back into high plank. On the inhale, lift that right leg to the sky. And as you exhale, bend the knee, bring the knee up toward the left elbow. Inhale, flip and open. You don't have to flip entirely, just open up that right hip. Get a little twisty in the spine here. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, feel the hip open. Two more, keep the weight even in the palms. Right here, if you wanna flip your dog, go for it. Bring that right foot down, rotate your left foot so the feet are parallel. Evenly press into the feet, lifting the hips, lifting the heart. Squeeze the thighs, one more breath. Come back into that flip dog, our three-legged dog, rather. Right knee to right elbow again. Extend the leg, this time peel the left arm up. And then release the right hip down to the earth. Boom, boom, there you go. So we're looking for our, our twist here. You can have your hands on the palms, you can come down to forearms if you have a block. It may be nice to take a little weight out of the wrists and come to your forearms. Maybe you come even further down to the earth. Look over the right shoulder. Activate any sensation back into the IT band and flexing, flossing a little bit through the um, sciatic nerve that runs up the leg, right? You can point and flex into that right foot. Really beautiful stretch for the lumbar spine here. So breathe into it. Think about sliding your right hip to the right, bringing your left hip around. Two more breaths. And then from here, we're gonna press up and bend both knees, come right into a pinwheel shape. We're gonna take a pinwheel pigeon and you can do a pinwheel pigeon with a twist if you'd like. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall and have your chest um, facing the, the, the fleshy part of the thigh rather than your shin. So just bring a little bit of a twist to it. If you wanna bring a lot of twist to it, you're gonna bring your left elbow on the outside of your right knee and your right arm down and then you twist. So it's less about the hip stretch and more about the spinal twist. 
Another thing you can do is thread the needles, bring your left arm underneath the right arm and come on down and maybe use the block to help catch your, catch your head. So you have lots of options here. If you need it more in your hips, melt over your thigh. If you wanna do hip with a twist, <laughs> weave the left arm under the right. Yeah, you feel like a pretzel, that's the point. Breathe into it, it's all good. Three more breaths, full breaths here. Taking it back all the way up to the top and all the way to the bottom. If you have a twist, start to untwist. And then we're gonna come back up. Start to extend your left leg back and make your way back into a three-legged dog. Right leg high and big circles into the right side. Shaky, shaky, circle, circle. Releasing tightness however you need to. If you wanna come through a vinyasa flow, a little challenge with the leg lifted, go for it. High to low plank but release the leg when you're ready for your back bend for full support. Back to downward facing dog. Come back to the rhythm of breath. Beautiful, when you're ready, knee to right elbow, hover forward so the shoulders stack over the wrists. Inhale, back up and open up. Exhale. Left knee to right elbow. Inhale, open, giving that twist. Two more. You got it, moving slowly and fully with the breath. And on this last one, when you open up the hip, feel free to flippy flip. Flip your dog. Oh yeah, just rotating that right foot so the feet are parallel. Really support your back here. Lift the pubis up to the sky, press down through the heels. You've got this one more breath. And we're gonna come back into three-legged dog. Left knee to right elbow, extend the left leg and peel the right arm up. Little fallen triangle here. And then slowly release that left hip down to the earth. Bring the right palm over to match the left. Knowing what your options are for the twist here. You wanna really start to sink into this twist. Maybe the right shoulder kind of releases down to the earth. Look over the left shoulder or melt onto your forearms. Feel it in that IT band on the left side. Feel it into the lower spine. Breathe into all the parts of the body that are really working right now, full of sensation. Take one more big breath. If you're not already sitting upright on your palms, come on to lift the body. Bend both knees coming into that pinwheel shape. And you know your option. So we can either get deep into that piriformis and the glutes on the left side by melting into your pinwheel pigeon, or maybe you do pinwheel pigeon with a twist and start to weave the right arm underneath the left or the left or the right elbow outside of the left knee. Wherever you land, take four more deep breaths. Take 
Start to untwist. Come on back up to your palms. Extend your right leg, left leg to the sky. Big circles into the left side hip. Final vinyasa flow of the practice if you'd like, or you can skip it. Nice. Come back to downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, we're gonna just come to seated. So you can take a little hop, hopping your legs right through. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we're gonna come into this position. Kind of looks a little bit like boat pose. <laughs> And um, extend the legs just a little bit further out. Sit up nice and tall. Find that rooting once again. And then straighten your left leg. We're going to take a bind with the left hand on the right foot. Straighten that leg. So, you again, you have a choice. Whether you have a strap or a T-shirt, that might be a nice way to help you connect. Because when we make our arms a little longer with these, with these tools, we can sit up a little taller because we're not straining to reach. So if you have it, use it. Sit up nice and tall and then open the arm out to the right. So really bring flexion into that right foot so you feel that IT band stretch again. If you want to make this more challenging into your core, you can lift the left leg a little bit also. Big breath in to lift, full breath twist. And come back to center, release the bind, shake out the legs. And then we'll take that on the other side. So draw your left knee in enough so you can catch the bind to, to please our ego. We're here to notice what we can do for the body, moving the energy around, just disrupting any stagnancy, getting things flowing. Sit up nice and tall. Maybe you have a bind on the outer edge of the foot. Keep the foot flexed. Sit up tall and twist. Hand can be rooted or you can lift it. Your choice. One more breath. And we come back into center. Nice. Both legs down in front of you. We'll take a forward fold. Feel free to micro bend in the knees if your hamstrings call for it. Lift up nice and tall on the inhale. Exhale, bow down. Two more breaths, letting everything go on the exhale. And then slowly lift up. We're going to roll down to our backs. Lift the right leg up to the sky. Just draw it towards you. And then we're going to take that same bind if you want. You can take the bind with the strap or you can take the hand on the calf once again and let that leg drift all the way over to the left side, keeping both shoulders connected. Breathe into this twist. Take one more big breath here. And slowly start to make your way back Releasing the right leg to meet the left. Just take a breath to recalibrate. And then left leg goes up. Give a little stretch. And then bring that left leg across the body. So you'll feel the left hip peel up, but keep the left shoulder connected. Notice if it feels any different from our initial twist, supine twist at the beginning of practice. Hopefully a little bit more energized, a little bit more limber. Any one of these stretches, these twists, 
serves your body well on its own to give a relief from, from sitting for a long period of time. So take some stretch breaks, some twist breaks throughout your day. Come on back up to center and release. Let's hug both knees in. Maybe laughing happy baby, bringing that spine into a neutral, reestablishing your grounding, coming back to center. One more big breath. And then start to let the body meld into your final resting shape. The arms can open wide, palms up to receive the beautiful, bountiful energy that hugs and surrounds you, welcoming you to your day. Take a big breath in. Let it all go. This moment is for you. Remember that life has this way of offering you twists and turns, different choices, different paths. As you travel on the journey and choose to, to follow these paths, just stay alive and aware and accepting of whatever comes. You always have your breath. You always have a strong, firm foundation upon which to stand. You have love, you have courage, you have everything you need. Remember to enjoy the journey rather than staying fixated on the destination because you may miss something along the way. Enjoy the route of life. Start to breathe a little deeper and start to move into the body. Eventually making your way onto one side. Settling in for a moment to honor the body to find gratitude for the breath. And just a general sense of peace knowing that you've arrived in this space willingly. 
when you're ready, start to press up to a comfortable seat where the palms find one another in front of your heart. Thank you so much for your presence, for your patience. You guys are the best for sticking with it when we had a little twist on our journey today. The love and the light within me is so grateful and honors the love and the light that shines brightly within each of you. Namaste. So thank you again. Thanks for those of you who sent me messages. Thanks for everyone who stuck it out. And uh, I hope that you guys have a really good day today. Hope you're feeling um, well detoxed. I hope you're feeling that mm, the energy has been moved around in healthy ways. Maybe it'll bring some clarity to your day. So um, let me know if you have any questions about our practice. Um, it probably won't be it won't be available on YouTube because I had to stop it halfway when we lost connectivity. Um, so there's a if you wanted another twisty practice on your own, there's one from last week that you can enjoy. Otherwise, come on back tomorrow when we're going to do a little wind down Wednesday. All right. And um, I don't know what else to say. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Thank you. Monica, look at you. We don't ever see each other in real mode because right. we're always in ponytail bun mode. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's adorable. Well, thank you. Thank you again. Love your classes. I miss you guys so much. I can't tell you how much I miss you. Woo. Namaste. Namaste, thank guys. You so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I look forward to it, Kelly. Thank you.